Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Welcome to the Jewelry Making Fun Challenge. It's hosted on the 18th of each month. And it is hosted by Deb Hawk of Dahlia Designs. So what Deb does is she gives us um, some challenges. The first challenge we have to do. And this month for February of 2024 she wanted to use she wanted us to use purple and teal. And I remembered I had these purple and teal seed beads. They almost look Mardi Gras, but not really cuz Mardi Gras instead of the teal you would use green. But uh but I think they could still pass for Mardi Gras colors. And with February, we're right in the middle of Mardi Gras season. So, I used these beads and then she wanted us to make a ring which I thought was interesting because I've been wanting to make rings for a while but I don't know I try and they just don't come out very well let me show you an example of a ring that I made that was eh, so so I mean it definitely looks homemade <laughs> I just took some 20 gauge wire and wrapped it. I did have to use a, a ring mandrel, um, but I don't know. I wore it around a little bit, but I felt as if this was going to get caught. In fact, it did a couple of times. I'm pretty much of a klutz, and so I was like, uh, I don't know. That was just a, if you wanted to, was um, to use gold accents, charms, beads, links, seed beads, whatever. And so that's where the seed beads came in. And they have a gold accent in there. And this is the ring I made. <laughs> I just took some 20 gauge wire and made a loop twisted it a couple times, fed some um, seed beads on there, two on each piece of wire, and then I twisted a couple times again, repeated the process until I got the size ring I wanted, and I wanted a pinky ring. Once I got to the end, I twisted it a couple more times, and I just took the ends and fed them into the circle there and brought them back around a couple times through the circle and clamped them down. And then I put them back on, I put them on the mandrel and kind of hammered it a little bit just to get those so they're not um, rough. They're pretty smooth there. So this is my attempt at a ring. I know it looks very homemade. <laughs> And this is something I will probably never uh, get good enough at to give as gifts or to sell. Um, I know my limits, and rings are my limit. I'd like to thank y'all for joining me today. I'm trying to show you both the rings there. I would like to also apologize for my sick voice. I will overcome this. It's been months that I've had this, and I'm going to overcome it. I've got to think positive. I do appreciate all your thoughts and prayers. And I'm going to leave links to all the other participants of this challenge down in the description box below. So I hope you go check them out. And uh, I'd love it if you would leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't always. But most of y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.